Hello brothers and sisters, welcome back to my channel. My name is Patty. If you are new here, I want to thank all of you guys for clicking on this video. So today I was just planning to do um, like a small mukbang uh, slash story time slash catch up video because I haven't posted in like a month or so. So the first thing I wanted to say is that I have been practicing my drawing. So not every day but close to every day and I feel a little more confident so the next time basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start a series called practice with me and so I'm gonna start uh, basically recording myself when I practice and I'm gonna start uploading because the end goal of all of all of this is that I want to become a full-time artist and I want to get really good at my art to the point where I can sell it and you know and make my living off of that so um, you know because I feel like there's more to life than just getting a good job and making money and then going to work and then every once in a while go on vacation I mean I feel like there's more to life than that and I have been feeling for a long time that I needed like um, uh, a creative outlet somewhere and this is it and it's just I've, it's just been making me very happy so the next time that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna post a video of me practicing a drawing um, I'm not sure what yet uh, so but stay tuned for that because the next video that I'm gonna do is gonna be that it's gonna be me drawing and from this point on I want to upload a video every week so that's the goal so so that being said um, for today's video I just wanted to do a small short story time about one time when I was in fourth grade taking you way way back for this one this is probably like around 1988 or 89 <laughs> I'm old guys I've been around for a while now so yes so let me start with that and actually what I'm, I am eating as well to my thing I just cooked something I just cooked fried plantains I don't want to show you because it's kind of you might look kind of weird to you but it's just fried plantains uh, eggs tortillas some avocado some queso fresco and some jalapenos <laughs> just believe me is what I'm eating so anyway so let me start with the story time so like I said this was a long time ago this is when I was either 9 or 10 so the story is about when I got in a fight in school. So I had this best friend, best friend supposedly, and she had this boyfriend. And just keep in mind that we're like nine or ten years old, so I shouldn't be having a boyfriend at nine or ten years old. But her little boyfriend, this fool reminds me of like guys. I, I bet you he grew up to be one of those guys that just like hits on everybody. Like he doesn't care who it is as long as he. As long as he gets some and his, his, you know, his number goes up, he rem that's what I picture him as right now. He probably has like 10 baby mamas or something. Well, who knows? But that's just how he was because he would ask everybody to be his girlfriend. So he was, he was with her, supposedly they were boyfriend and girlfriend. And one day he comes up to me and he asks me out. And I didn't know what that was. Like... At that age, like, I was not boy crazy. Like, I don't know, the kids at my school were very, like, advanced, like, sexually. They were doing stuff that I was like, ooh, I, I was terrified to even touch a boy. It was like, ooh, no, I was like, cooties get away from me, you know? So he comes up to me and he goes, uh, do you want to go out with me? And I was like, first, I didn't even know what that meant. So I said, I, I literally was like, where? And he's all like, no, like, do you want to be my girlfriend? And I'm thinking... Like, aren't you with that my friend? You're like in my head, but I'm 10 years old, so I don't even care. So he goes, do you want, you want to be my girlfriend? And I said, I go, I remember I told him, oh, my dad won't let me, my dad won't let me have a boyfriend. You know, and so that was it. That, that was the extent of that. That was literally, it. he would just move on to the next person and ask the next girl if he, that's just how he was. So that was it. That was no biggie, right? So, but it was still kind of like, I thought he was with this girl. So anyway, the next day, I don't know if it was the next day, it was like maybe a couple days after that happened. <clears throat> Hold on, let me eat something. 
Hmm. Well. The next day, I noticed that she's kind of um, weird with me. Like, she's not really talking to me. And we were in the same class, you know? So I noticed it right away and I was like, what the heck? Like, what's up with her? But whatever. So I didn't really think anything of it at the time. But then when we would start to go to, when we would go to recess or lunch, she would be like mad dogging me. I don't know if you guys know what mad dogging means, but like back in the day, we mad dogging meant like somebody was like mean mugging you, like they were just giving you the stink eye, like the side eye, like they're they're like they to the point where you're thinking they're they're about to do something, they're about to come up to you, they're about to want to fight you, like that kind of look. And I was like, what the heck, you were? Because like I said, she was my best friend, you know, or so I thought. And so she's like mean mugging me, and I'm just like she's like talking crap to me like saying I'm gonna kick your your ass and I'm just kind of like why like what I didn't even know what brought this on and so this happened for a whole week this girl was trying to fight me she literally was telling me I want to fight you like I want to kick your ass like, let's go let's go and I kept like first of all I didn't want to fight because I didn't want to get in trouble like I wasn't scared to fight her but I didn't want to get in trouble you know I was not trying to get in trouble and so I think it was probably like the third day, so probably like a, like a Wednesday or something. I told, I finally told her, I said, I'll fight you. But I, in my school, there was like a section where nobody went. There was like a, it's kind of like a weird, I don't know, it was like an awkward section where like there was no classrooms, but it was still part of the school. And so there was never any teachers there. Like kids used to go there to make out, uh, to fight, to get into fights so they wouldn't get caught. And you know, and I told them, let's go there, I'll, I'll fight you over there. And she didn't want to. She didn't want to do that. So I'm like, well, I'm not going to fight you and get in trouble. Like, it's just not worth it. And for what? I didn't even know for what it was. And then finally, that was Wednesday. So Thursday, she ends up telling me, well, I know that you were trying to get with my boyfriend. And I'm like, oh, my God. I go, that's what this is about. Like, so that's what I told her. I go, no, I, I wasn't trying to get with him. He was trying to get with me. And I told him, no. Like, I don't, I don't want a boyfriend. You know, I'm like, whatever. I just told her it wasn't me. And she didn't care. She didn't care if it was me or not. She just was already in her head. She was going to kick my ass. She had to wait till everybody. All the little girls were on her side. Nobody was on my side. Everybody was like, how can you do that to your friend? Keep in mind that we're like 9 and 10 years old. Like, this should not be uh, one of our issues right now. <laughs> so, she's doing this all week. She's like, basically bullying me all week, you know. And and when we would go to lunch, at my school, we had like a time where we had to go to the cafeteria and we had to sit there and eat, right? And then after a certain time, you can get up and go whenever you were done, but you had to, but you couldn't take longer than a certain period of time. So after a certain period of time, you had to go. I would just stay the whole time because I didn't want to be picked on on the playground. So I would just kind of stay the whole time, you know, basically as long as I could in the cafeteria and on Thursday yeah like on Thursday when she confronted me about her boyfriend was at Reese's so at lunch that day they would owe her and her little friends they would sit on one bench and I would sit and they would basically follow me to whatever bench I was so if I was to sit on a bench they would sit in the one next to it not in the not on the bench that I was sitting but the bench next to it and they're like right next to each other like one starts right here and the other one starts right here so they would sit there and do just talk crap just talk crap to me and say you're, you're gonna get your ass beat you're gonna get your your butt kicked and blah 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 and and I was just like oh my gosh like I don't wanna like I said I wasn't scared to fight her I just didn't wanna get in trouble and um So I didn't want to fight. So that was Thursday. They sat there. They got really, really close that day. And I remember like... I remember I stayed there. I 
I said, as long as I could. I stayed there as long as I could. And then that day, we almost did get in a fight because she was following me around. <clears throat> and the only reason she left me alone is because I purposely would go and stand or play next to like a teacher or like like some like some people that were in the yard. I, I don't think in my school they weren't teachers. They were just like people who worked there and they would just kind of supervise during recess and lunch. So I would, I would stand around them so she wouldn't do anything. That was Thursday. So then Friday, I think Friday she just like ha I had enough too. I was already like stressing out. These people have been bullying me all week. My friends supposedly, all the girls in my class. So Friday happens, same thing. She's talking shit to me uh, in the playground and we go to the cafeteria, same thing. They're sitting in the next bench, just talking and talking and threatening me. And finally that day I was like, you know what? I think I'm just gonna have to fight her and get it over with. So we, I was just thinking that. I wasn't like planning to go up to her or anything like that. I was just saying like, if she comes at me, it's gonna happen and I'm just gonna go for it. And I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna fight her, you know? So. We go to the playground after we're done eating and sure enough she's in the middle in the middle of the playground everybody's there teachers all the kids everybody's there she goes up to me she literally rushes me and pushes me and then she's like slaps me and i just lost it like after that i all i remember is that i grabbed her by the hair i pulled her down i got her in a headlock and i just was like hitting her scratching her put everything that i could figure out what to do I was just so pissed at that point that I was just like I scratched her so bad like at the end she had scratches on her face she had scratches on her neck she had scratches on her arms she was all red the only thing she ever got to do to me is when she initially hit me pushed me and, and slapped me that was the only thing she ever really did to me because after that I had her in the headlock the whole time the whole time I had her in the headlock the whole time I was just hitting her head with my other hand pulling her scratching her and she was like trying to bite me so i would squeeze her even harder when she would try to bite me so like guys if i would have lost this fight i would tell you look i got my ass beat it is what it is that happened no but i i did the damage in this fight so you know they break us up go to the principal's office and in my school there was this thing called uh, a violation so you would get like warnings in school like without without your parents being notified say so you just went to the you went to the principal's office or whatever you just, they wouldn't tell your parents or anything but if it was a violation what that was was actually a slip of paper where they would write down what you did and you would have to take it home and your parents would have to sign it right <clears throat> well in our cases okay so there was a violation that was the 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 first level and then the other level was a thing called a severe <laughs> So a severe, you automatically got suspended for one day because it's just how it worked. You always got suspended for that one day when you got a severe. So as a result of everything after they heard our, our stories and our, and our both our sides of the story, I ended up getting a, a violation. No, no, no. I ended up getting a severe. She only ended up getting a violation. And I asked her, like, why is she getting a violation and I'm getting a severe when she's the one that bullied me all week? She's been, you know, she's been picking on me all week and I get a, viol a, a severe and she only gets a violation? So obviously a severe, you have to take it home for your parents to sign as well. But I didn't get suspended for one day, which I thought, she, and then that's when she told me, she's like, look, I understand she's getting a, a violation because she bullied you, but you... She's like, but well, you beat her up. She's like, look at her. <laughs> and she was like, I mean, her face was red. She had scratches all over her face. She had scratches, like I said, on her neck, on her arms. Like, I effed her up. I was so mad at that point that I just let it go. I was like, you know what? I'm already getting in trouble. I might as well win this fight. I might as well do it to the point where she will, will leave me alone. And she did. After that, believe me, she never picked on me. She never even was mean to me. Never. She started being nice to me. And I was like good that's what that's how it should be I didn't do anything to deserve this whole thing anyway so anyway so I get a severe I don't get suspended for a day because I didn't start the fight because I wasn't the one picking on her but I got the severe because of how severely I guess I beat her up <laughs> so I'm like dang and I 
take it home and obviously like that it wasn't good so a whole nother story there but a whole, it was not good and I I go to school then the next week because I was a Friday I go to school the next week and she's so nice to me and everything and then that that boy the boy that asked me out he said oh dude you kicked her ass and then he asked me to be his girlfriend again I was like if away from me right now you know and it's so funny because I think about this we're like 10 years old like 9 or 10 years old it, it's it's so crazy so that's the first time I ever got in a fight I don't think I ever got in a fight after, no I think I did get in a fight after that but not in elementary school and I didn't get caught so that one kind of did count because nobody found out about that one but but yeah so yeah, that's what happened, and and I know it's kind of like a lame story because like it happened when I was 10, it didn't really count. But to me at the time, it was pretty traumatizing because like it was traumatizing, you know. Like for a whole week, these girls like picked on me. They would call me names. They, I was like really little when I was 10, and I was really really skinny, and so they would like just call me all kinds of names. Like they would call me toothpick. They would call me, uh, tell me I was a skeleton. <laughs> they would say my hair was nappy. They were so mean. They were mean. So I honestly don't regret beating her up that bad. Because two things happened. She left me alone after that. And so did they. Nobody picked on me after that. Nobody really picked on me. Nobody picked on me after, after I, that happened. So that was like, I got like some street cred after that. I was like, oh, sh don't make her mad. She's going to scratch her eyes out. And I did, like, like I said, if it was, I wouldn't be proud of it if I was the one that was just, like, picking on someone, but I wasn't. I was not. I was literally not. I didn't do anything. And that's what I did. That's how I took care of it. So, yeah, that's my story time. <laughs> I'll try to have, like, a better story time next time, but I thought, I just, th that story just... I never forget it. It's like one of those things that happens to you and you never forget and you know the details and all that. So I wanted to share that with you guys. So it was really nice hanging out with you guys again. Next next video, like I said, I will be doing um, some drawing. I will be practicing. So stay tuned for that. And thank you so much for watching. I only took like one bite of my food, but so it was kind of a mukbang. But Um, so thank you guys so much for watching if you stayed till the end extra special thank you to you and I'll see you guys next time bye